Welcome, dear hearts. Come on in and enjoy a brief moment with me, Natasha, the owner of the Magical Blessings Healing Center. Thank you so very much for taking a brief moment out of your very busy day. Grab your favorite beverage, snuggle on down and get comfy as we go on this most magical moment with me, departing as of now. So energies, they're beautiful, they're icky, and sometimes they're ugly. However, we are energy beings and we have so much energy all around us all the time. There is just, that's who and what we are. And well, how many of you have heard of an empath? I said it before in, a, in, in the previous uh, video, but if this is the first time you're seeing this, well, I don't want you to feel left out, so to speak. So basically, if you're an empath, you have a natural ability to absorb energy, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And maybe you are having a good day. You're feeling great, and the sun's out, and you're just having an awesome day, and all of a sudden, it's like, <clears throat> snarky. Uh-oh. Oops. What was that? Right? Or somebody says, oh, you're just so sensitive. You're just too sensitive. <laughs> just stop it. Um, no, it, it's not that easy. It's not that simple. It's who you are. You were bequeathed the beautiful gift because you were bequeathed the gift to feeling very deeply. How empowering is that? It's a beautiful gift. And as a fellow empath, I want to pass on to you a trick I like to use. And that is, well, we all need lots of tools in our tool belt, right? So I like to pull out of my magic bag this. Every once in a while, I try to do once or, or once at once a week or once every two weeks, I like to take a really hot bath. And I'm talking super hot, <laughs> super hot. Um, and I like to take Epsom salt and Celtic salt. And I take about, oh, depending on what I my intuitiveness says that I need, a quarter of a cup to a half of a cup of Epsom salt, I sprinkle in maybe like, I don't know, a few tablespoons of Celtic salt. And then I also like to put in sage, cooking type sage, not the smudging type sage. You know, it's already tightly wound into a, a, a smudge stick but by cooking sage. You can usually find it at most health food stores in the bulk section, grocery stores, you know, in their little spice area, or you may even have it in your kitchen cabinet. And sprinkle about one to two tablespoons in your bath water and sit down in that bath and enjoy the benefits of this wonderful bath and the water and the heat and the sage. It's being absorbed into your skin in a different way. But with the heat and everything, it's almost like you're smudging in a way. Um, the, and cleansing and clearing those negative energies out of you. Now, I will say, <laughs> I've had people say, oh, I, I love your idea, but Natasha, really? I always forewarn. This is a very relaxing time, and it's also a restful time. You also are going to be absorbing what's in the water. So, yes, Epsom salt has lots of magnesium. And I mean, it's made of magnesium. Well, what does magnesium or Epsom salts do to some internal parts of you? Well, it makes certain parts of you a little more slicker, a little more quicker, and it's a good thing to stay in environment, preferably home, where if you need to use the restroom, that you have that opportunity. Because again, I will say, it will make things a little slicker and a little more quicker. So you may be using the bathroom in both directions a little more than you normally would. However, that's a good thing. It means that you're eliminating those negative energies out of your system and other things. So if you are have a medical condition or a health condition, 
please check with your, your medical and health provider to find out whether this is safe for you. And otherwise, enjoy this beautiful, restorative, relaxing moment and releasing and cleansing those negative energies right on out of you. Much, much love, much light, and magical, magical blessings each and every dear heart. Mwah. Goodbye.